You're watching Endeavor TV, and this is the EPC um, 1015 PM. My name is Bolas Gal, and we are going to do some multimedia testing right now. Starting off with some YouTube trailers. As you can see, we have the Green Hornet here in HD. First in 360p. Let's see how that plays. Let me turn down the volume a little bit so it's not too loud for you. And do full screen maybe. As you can see, now it's 40p as soon as you go to um, full screen, and it's pretty smooth. So, playing flash videos is fine. Let's see if we turn it up to 720p, what the new Atom N550 does with the uh, 1GB DDR3 RAM. As you can see, well, this is about 10 frames per second, and it's not enough to enjoy a movie. I know the screen doesn't have this resolution for 720p, but if you want to play it on an external screen, maybe it would make sense. And I will just demonstrate the 1080p that it's even worse, but um, the VGA output on this device can't even output the uh, uh, 1920 times 1080 resolutions anyway. But yeah, let's see what the 1080p does and. After that, we will go to play some local files and yeah, the usual stuff and yeah, 1080p, it's like, don't know, like one picture every second, two pictures every second, not too much and it's not because of my internet connection because I have 16 megabits per second, so... Let's exit the full screen mode and check out maybe a regular website to see how the resolution is. Right now it's um, in the afternoon and the sun is shining into my room so this is the maximum um, brightness of the screen. Let's go to the, the times, times.com website maybe. New York Times as always and I'm using an Excel mouse right now actually so that's why you don't see me playing around down here I don't know why the internet is so slow right now I'm not doing actually anything else but yeah this is a standard 20, uh, 1024 times 600 resolution so yeah it's cool the usual as all the other netbooks in just a gif we're going to demonstrate to you um, how the um, um, colors are. Let's first continue with a 720p video from a local hard drive, Big Bug Bunny. You can download that for free um, on bigbugbunny.org, I think. Let's go full screen and um, a scene where there's a lot of movement, as you can see here. 720p locally plays fine, except for this one scene where there was a lot of small movements, but anything else it's fine, as you can see the colors are really great also. Now the same movie in 1080p, this is actually H.264 um, encoded and it's a MOV container. So 1080p looks like this. Same scene. It plays kind of fine, this scene is of course Again, a little bit too hard for the Atom N550, but as you can hear, maybe the sound doesn't fit the um, video, so yeah, not the perfect solution, 1080p, but yeah, you don't really need that on a netbook. And then we have a standard AVI movie where we will show you um, the display angle, how the picture looks like with regular video. So this is from the front and as soon as we go to the side you can see it's getting a lot darker from the other side of course it's the same um, from the top it's actually fine and from the bottom it's getting of course as always darker 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 so that's not great but let's go on with picture testing fix the camera here there we go and yeah let's check out some regular 5 megapixel pictures how fast we can scroll through them there we go 1 2 5 these are all 5 megapixels as you can see it's working pretty quick and I can of course zoom in also 
by scrolling and yeah this works fine as soon as I open Photoshop though now where did I put it um, yeah, I think I left it here this is a CS4 and we are going to just do some quick editing to show you that um, Atom processors, the Atom N550 without Ion is not perfect for editing pictures, but you can do the um, basic stuff. Or you buy more RAM, maximum of 2 GB of RAM is possible on uh, most Atom N550 devices. And yeah, I just loaded the picture in here, and as long as you're only drawing something, it works fine, but as soon as you take a bigger part of the picture let me cut this out and insert it again and if you move this you can see that it's really too slow so no fun in working with this let's close this up again let's say no the hard drive is really not not too loud but you can feel it a little bit here on the bottom and the device the, the fan is um, not um, loud at all I can't hear it at all actually let me show you the um, office 2010 starter package that's pre-installed on here it's the German version though so don't be wondering but yeah it's for free and you can use it unlimited but there will be a bar on the right side with some ads but it's actually fine because you don't have to pay 80 euros or dollars to buy the whole um, office package but you only have Excel and Word so yeah this is Word same functions as the full version but you have this bar here on the side and Excel looks the same and last but not least we will do some Counter-Strike but till the program starts um, I will show you around the device a little bit as you can see here we have a really nice keyboard really huge touchpad with good multi-touch on the left side the regular plugins, power, VGA, USB, and fan. The game is already loaded, but let me show you the other side too. Uh, on this side we have an SD card reader, which takes in the whole, car whole card. Um, headphone, microphone, two USB 2.0s, canceling, and standard 1000 Mbit LAN port. Then you have also gigabit, <laughs> not gigabit, um, wireless button here on the top, and a quick starter menu, which is really nice if you only want to browse the web check some pictures and listen to music it doesn't have video playback but there is um, an option to download some more apps let's start your new game we have an 800 times 600 resolution I'm using my external mouse to play this game the new Microsoft Arc and yeah I didn't tell you about the webcam it has a point 0.3 megapixels but it's fine um, if you use it when there is enough light and yeah let's see 800 times 600 as you can see on the bottom we have the frame rate um, and yeah let's just choose something and start running I'm not a good really really good player but as you can see we have around 20 frames per second 18 17 something like that not perfect for all the gamers but it's fine for some playing <laughs> playing playing no actually I'm pretty good interesting anyhow so this was the Asus EPC 10 15 PM let me show you now the battery at the end we have 3 hours 45 minutes left at 82% uh, while using of course the maximum of the CPU power so with wireless it has around 7 hours plus if you don't use the uh, maximum brightness. I'm Balash Gal from Endeavor TV. Thank you for watching and till next time tune in again.